Next clip we got here, courtesy of Two Bears One Cave, it features another really heavy handed attempt from Tom Segura and Burt Crasher to go viral. More so from Burt Crasher because he does that. <laughs> that flipping stupid laugh that he does right so he they, they're clearly trying to do it um more often than not to try and go viral and it's so heavy-handed it's so obvious it's so bait that it kind of just angers you more than actually makes you laugh and makes you want to share it organically like they did with that you know actual organic viral moment with that flipping kool-aid clip that one kool-aid clip actually went to flip in Bert's head he drank too much of that Kool-Aid and now suddenly he's trying to recreate that moment every single time he sits next to flipping Tom Segura and the only thing that I can flip and see when he sits next to Tom Segura is just how fat he is because Tom Segura has lost so much weight and he looks so different now when he sat next to Bert you actually see how big Bert is compared to him so the attempts to go viral don't work all you see is one really fat man and one former fat man but what do I know I don't know anything is obsessed with his ipad we have to we have to <laughs> say eyeballs his eyeballs too he, ha he has this game where they, they he wants to buy a block of something so christina was like i don't want to just be like yeah you know we should make him like earn it i'm like yeah i go let me talk to him so i was like what's up he's like all right this thing's like 25 bucks <laughs> he's like i think i should have to you know like do chores and stuff i go yeah that's cool and he goes how long <laughs> like how long until i can get it i go um he goes how about two weeks and I go, that seems fair. And then she gives, he gives the phone back to her. She goes, he doesn't understand how long two weeks is. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, just a word for It's him. just a word. And I was like, what? Well, I, I go, understand how long yeah. two weeks is. <laughs> yeah. It's just a word about he just, two he weeks. He just heard it. He's just heard it. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's not that funny. That's a pretty sweet story to tell about your son or about your child. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty endearing. It might make you want to cry. It might make you want to, you know, cry like, oh my God, that's so sweet. Oh, it might make you want to, ah, oh, right? But it's not going to make you wheeze and turn red like that. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? There he is. That, that shouldn't make you want to do this. Like what? And I'm convinced also he knows, I have a feeling, this is my theory again, because I saw that little sneaky thing he did on Something's Burning when he had a Legion of Skanks guys on there and he was talking about Brendan and he did that thing where he was flipping whatever he was frying in, a, in the frying pan and he purposely splashed the oil on his feet. I have a fear, and he kind of started to flip around, oh my God, because he had like flip-flops on. I have a theory that Burt Crusher knows how to make his head go red like he notices it he knows how to make his head go beat red from laughing and kind of holding in his voice i'm pretty sure or holding his breath sorry i'm pretty sure he has it kind of dialed in how he kind of like is able to sort of like turn into a you know a human kettle i'm pretty sure of it because this is really insane how are you laughing this much over such an innocuous innocuous like story about someone's kid saying something cute this made you laugh like this really just, he just heard it. He's just heard it. Yeah. So I was like, no, he's. She goes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was like, I go, you sure? She goes, he definitely doesn't. I go, he definitely has no idea what yeah. he feels like. This is like we're, we're like a like in. This is like is he ad libbing it? He definitely doesn't know what he feels like. He doesn't know what one week is. He doesn't know what the word is. He's having a nightmare. There she goes. It's like a flipping announcement of flipping horse race or something. She's running around the first floor now. She's tripping number seven. I'm like, it's like what? <laughs> he doesn't. So he gets back the phone. I go, he goes, how many days is two weeks? <laughs> I go, it's 14. He goes, that's a long time. <laughs> I go, how about one week? He goes, how many days is that? <laughs> I go, he didn't know what the one <laughs> I'm sorry. There's nothing in that joke or that story that's requiring a flipping reaction like that that is legitimately him trying to recreate that flipping you know what's it called that kool-aid moment he definitely wants another kool-aid moment after seeing how viral that went you can tell Bert's trying to recreate that again what the fuck is this man imagine being around this guy like nothing is ever that funny he's kind of like a yeah because you know what's funny about it i just realized um 
Who's that guy? Is it Jimmy Fallon? A lot of these comedians take the piss out of that guy. Is it Jimmy Fallon, that talk show host, who does he over laughs at everyone's jokes? Is it Jimmy Fallon or whatever? He's worse than Fallon, in my opinion. At least Fallon's trying to put on a good live TV show and make the guests feel comfortable or something or whatever, right? It's kind of done in jest. I don't know. It's a little bit understandable on Fallon. But on podcasts, on every moment, he gets in front of a camera. He's trying to recreate that moment with the flipping, you know, Kool-Aid by slapping himself, walking. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I'm going to faint. I'm going to faint. No, please faint, sir. Please. Please faint for a couple of minutes. You know, let your heart stop and then resuscitate yourself so that you can come back a better person. Please. You actually maybe do need to stop breathing for a while. You know, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but you might need to stop breathing for a little bit just a little bit just to kind of get you back to your base level to kind of keep you honest to some degree because constantly breathing and constantly drinking has led you to this point maybe you do need to hold your breath and you know just hold it in for a very very long time please sir because god almighty what the hell is this man i don't understand this in the slightest so bizarre such a ugh. I, I don't know i find it i find all that stuff gross man i really do it kind of takes a fun out listening to podcasts as well because you can hear the fakeness and the try hardness when they're trying to do all that stuff all, all the time. Because I don't know. <laughs> That's a good point. Freshwater Addy. When you're when you're that rich and, and that buzzed, you'll laugh a lot at hard. Yeah, true. That's a good point, actually. There is kind of a bit of that in there, isn't it? When you have, you know, you're actually wealthy and you legitimately have no real day-to-day -day struggles in your life. Maybe things are a lot funnier to you day by day. You know, life is ridiculously funny because you've because in your head you've completed life. You've kind of figured it out. It's all well and good here, right? I flipping love that. Okay, that, that's actually a good point. <laughs> Big up you. That's actually a legit point.